Hello everybody, welcome to the wonderful world of Release 9. Let's take a look at some of the new uh, label capabilities that are in Release 9. Uh, let's do a quick review. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put some labels on here in the kind of in the old style of doing it uh, on top of this map. What we're looking at here is Release 9. It's showing a map of France. You can do all this, by the way, in Manifold Viewer as well, because Manifold Viewer now tracks 9. Just make sure you're using the latest cutting edge build so you get the benefit of all the latest uh, and greatest uh, uh, features in release 9 that would be release 9 edge and viewer that would be viewer edge. So here is a drawing that we've created called regions. Let's drag and drop that into uh, the map. And uh, these are centers. They're inner, inner centers uh, for the various uh, provinces of France that were created using the transform um, pane that takes but a second. And uh, in the regions table you can see we've copied over the names of the various uh, provinces. That all that was done automatically. And we're going to use these uh, center points to uh, create uh, drawings. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to right-click on Regions and choose New Labels. And it automatically is, uh, loads the uh, Regions drawing for us instead of me having to pick which drawing we want. And for the text, we'll use the Province uh, label, which uh, Province field, which gives the uh, name of the various regions. Create Labels. Now let's drag and drop that into the map. And you can see that the content, the text content of each of these labels has been automatically created based on the uh, value of the text field. The position of the label also is automatically controlled by the point from which it was created. That's actually a pretty good reason why it makes sense to create uh, labels from points. Because then if you don't like where a particular label is, you can move it around by moving the point. Now, we all like the idea of labels being created for us automatically. and. Uh, it sure is convenient to have labeling engines which do that, and Manifold, of course, does that as we have in Release 8, and we're doing that in Release 9 as well. Um, but having the ability to create uh, points, create labels automatically from points, uh, is really hard to beat when you want very, very fine control over exactly how, where all this stuff is put. So, for example, if we want to move this label right there, we can all click on the point uh, from which it takes its uh, text and move that point. Just drag and drop it like that, click Update Record and the point moves and so is the text that's, uh, that's associated with it. Uh, let's turn off that, those regions points. We just look at the regions labels. Uh, now, uh, if we want to style these, these labels, we click the uh, style panel and uh, we can immediately uh, change, say, the... Uh, oops, let's click on the regions label so that has the context. And uh, let's change, say, the size to... well, let's call it 12 points. And that makes uh, larger, larger labels throughout the entire uh, layer. Uh, by default, the uh, style panel will apply to the entire label. So wh what we've seen so far is we've seen how we can create these uh, labels. Uh, the labels are created automatically from uh, points, and uh, the they take their text automatically from points. Okay, all that is super. Now suppose we don't want to create labels that are, are created automatically from you know, regions or points or whatever, or lines or whatever they are. Suppose we just want to, in a freehand way, click and add and create labels in, in in this map. Well, the way to do that is really easy. What we do is we right click here and we create a new labels component that is based on a new drawing. As a text field, it's going to use the text field called text. Manifold will create that for us. So now we create, create that labels. And what do we see here? We see that uh, a new labels component called labels has been created and that has a new labels drawing and a new labels table. These are all empty. There's a little text field here and there's a geom field here and, and, and that's that. Uh, if we drag and drop that labels component into the uh, map, there is nothing there. Uh, so, uh, because we haven't added any, any labels yet, uh, if we want to, let's uh, let's do a little bit of formatting in advance. To we're going to turn the color for the the, the main color to white. I'm going to turn the fill color to black. I'm going to make the uh, labels bigger. Let's make them uh, 20 points, and uh, let's change the uh, font we use to a nice bold font, so that any uh, Labels we new new labels we create we're gonna are gonna stand out and they're gonna be uh, easy to see. Uh, to create labels, what do we do? Well, we simply create objects from which we want those labels to take their uh, take their bearings. So let's uh, click this uh, tool right here to create a point. And the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna mark one of the most important points of France with a label. Uh, it's right about here, about between Le Mans and uh, the coast. And this is where Camembert cheese. Oops, I've got to spell it right. Camembert cheese was invented. So click Add Record, and that adds a point, and that also adds the uh, the uh, text from that point. Now you can't see the point because we don't have actually have the labels drawing in there. And if, if we drag and drop the lab labels drawing in, we can see there's the point that uh, was created. We're gonna, I'm going to turn that off. 
Uh, but we have created a label here called Camembert. Uh, let's create another point. I'm going to click this uh, field right here. And here down here, let's create a point for uh, a very famous location. It's right about there, somewhere uh, to the uh, southeast of Paris. And that is the uh, town of Brie. There actually is a town of Brie, which is where Brie cheese comes from, and the various sorts of Brie, like uh, Brie de Melun and, and so on. And uh, we're well on our way now to uh, labeling all the really important parts of France. Uh, Camembert we have, we have Brie. Uh, we might want to add Paris, but Paris really isn't famous for its cheese, so, you know, why bother? Okay, why do we have up here uh, various uh, tools to create areas, to create lines, and to create points? Well, that's so we can create labels that are based on those. For example, if we want to create a line, let's create a line from here to there. And uh, let's give that the uh, text channel. And uh, by creating a line object, we're creating a uh, label that's aligned to that line object. If we want to move that, the easiest way to do that, let's, let's get out of create object mode here to the default mode. Let's click on the labels drawing to see where that object is. Let's alt click on it. And uh, now we can edit it using the usual drawing uh, methods. For example, to move the, uh, the endpoints of the line, we update the, li the, uh, the line. The, uh, the position of the line, the, we're going to, we also end up updating the uh, position of the label that's drawn from that line. Uh, and uh, let's turn off this label. So let's go back here into labels and let's create another line here. And let's see what happens if we create a, a line without, uh, without uh, entering the uh, text for that. You can see it just uses the default text. And uh, to select that, we can uh, select the line that's associated with we, we We can choose the line that's associated with it by alt-clicking on that line. And then here in the record uh, pane, which automatically shows us everything that, has to, that there is to do with that particular object, like the geom, the text that's associated, the coordinates of it, and the style, uh, we can see that uh, uh, how the line is styled. Actually, you know what I really want to do is I want to do this. I want to click on the uh, labels portion of that and uh, select this label. And now I can look at the style and I can see the text here. And you can we can change that text to something like uh, Atlantic Ocean. Click Update Record. And that label also will be uh, updated. Yeah, let's turn these labels drawings off. As I'm clicking around here, sometimes I'm inadvertently moving that uh, map. That's okay. Uh, now, like all labels uh, layers, this labels layer also has is, has one style that is uh, that defines all of these all of these labels. So if we change anything in here, for example, we change the color of that to that really icky yellow. Well, all the labels change color to that really icky yellow. Let's change that back to uh, white here. Let's change the uh, the style a little bit to put a little bl black background border around those. That makes the uh, the uh, white label stand out a little bit better. Now suppose we want to uh, format each of these labels individually. We can do that. However, to do that, what we need is we need a uh, a text field that's in the uh, uh, labels table that we can use to store style information. So let's quickly add that using the schema dialog. We'll add a field called style. Most manifold people working with release 9 will use the name style for that text field by default. You can't see it, but off screen I've added, I've made it type envar character. We add that field, click OK, and now we have a new text field called style. We can use that style field to host uh, style information to, so we can now do this on a per label basis. We can now format these labels on a per label basis. We do that by clicking here in the style dialog, choosing options, per record style. We're going to turn that on, and we're going to use the style field. We don't use the text field, we're going to use the style field. Click OK, and we've now turned on per record style. Uh, and uh, what that means is now when we select a particular uh, uh, label here, for example, we can alt-click on Brie, and we can change the style to something that's uh, unique. So, for example, we can change the color to uh, bright green. Instead of 20 points, we can make it 16 points. Click Update Record, and only that one record changes. Here, let's go. We can move from record to record by clicking the... Uh, toolbar buttons here. So let's move to the previous one, which was Camembert. And from Camembert, let's also uh, change that to, uh, well, let's make it this, uh, well, yellow seems awful. 
Let's use yellow, what the heck. And let's also make that uh, uh, 16 points. Click Update Record. And now that's Camembert. Uh, let us create a uh, new label here. I'm going to create a new label by creating point. And right down here, we're going to create a uh, point approximately where uh, the Valley of the Loire is. And it's right about here is a town called Chenon, which is uh, famous for its uh, red wine. Famous to locals. It's not particularly famous with tourists who are always into uh, Bordeaux or Burgundy or whatever. Uh, but uh, we like our Chenon. And I'll get out of here out of create point mode into the default mode. Alt-click on Chenon to select it. And here at style, let's change the style to use a uh, a nice custom color that's kind of like a red wine color for uh, Chenon. If you get to France, don't miss the opportunity to uh, try some Chenin wine. Well, there we've seen how to create uh, both labels in the usual way based on objects where, uh, say, it's something like a point object uh, specifies automatically specifies the location of uh, labels throughout an entire layer and where the label automatically takes its uh, a text from uh, a particular field that we've selected. And we've also seen how to create a labels uh, component here, which is based on this, which has, it has, has its own sort of artificial little drawing and table with it where we can uh, use that to add labels in an interactive way. And we can base those labels on points, or we can base them on lines if we want them to you know, have this sort of linear sort of appearance. We could even create areas, although that's more rarely done. Um, but it does add a certain degree of flexibility to this process. We've also seen how to uh, add a text field to a uh, labels table so we can uh, uh, do per record formatting and make each individual label have its own style formatting capability. So that makes it very easy to customize all this stuff. Uh, and uh, that is a great extension. I, I should mention, by the way, that when we look at uh, you know, like the style for all these labels, one reason there's a lot of empty space uh, for controls uh, in that style uh, panel is uh, we're going to be adding very, very many more controls to, uh, in, a, in a much more sophisticated, much more flexible way, uh, change uh, what you can do with labels and uh, various effects and that sort of thing with labels. Because we know people want that, and that's going to get added. Part of uh, Release 9 is the community-driven process where the community is speaking out about what they'd like to do, well, what they'd like to see Manifold do. And at the rate of uh, two or three builds a week, which had a few dozen features and uh, 100 or 200 features per month, uh, 9 is evolving very, very rapidly. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy 9. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Try it out in Viewer if you don't have 9. Uh, and uh, we'll see you soon on another action-packed video. So goodbye from Manifold Release 9 land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.